Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, 9/11 and its uh, uh, and its aftermath. We uh, U.S. after the terrorist attack on the World Trade Center launched operations in Afghanistan, and after this operation, on this operation, Taliban were defeated. They were defeated with the help of Northern Alliance, Northern Alliance, which was Tajik, Uzbek, and Hazara. Taliban were all Pakhtuns. Having defeated the Taliban, the Al Qaeda and Taliban, Taliban came into the cities and mountains of Pakistan. That a third error occurred. I had suggested that we need to. change strategy we need to move forward towards the pashtuns and i made a statement that all taliban are pashtuns but all pashtuns are not taliban and it is the pashtuns who have governed afghanistan for all the centuries and now we cannot alienate the pashtuns we cannot govern afghanistan with a minority tajiks that was the third error that we did not reach out to the pashtuns and that situation stands even now that was an error initially ladies and gentlemen it was the it was the al qaeda who were in strength but with pakistan intelligence and military law enforcement agencies acting against the al qaeda they started going losing ground but then there was a resurgence of taliban so over these eight years after 911 al qaeda are smaller in numbers being hounded everywhere but it is the taliban and the same mullah umar and the same force of taliban who who have come resurfaced and they are gaining in strength because the pashtun community has been alienated and they have in effect being they have been pushed towards the taliban these taliban are in afghanistan they are the people who govern afghanistan but they are also in pakistan they are in pakistan we have taliban these are people who go across into afghanistan and they are people who give sanctuaries to the taliban from afghanistan but the main element that needs to be understood at the taliban are in afghanistan support is in pakistan we have to control and we have to counter both now let me come to the ladies and gentlemen with this background let me come to the present menace and the counter strategy al qaeda first of all al qaeda ladies and gentlemen are the hold up mujahideen after the fall of soviet union chechens and uzbeks came there but with all the action and operations against them main population of al qaeda are arabs they have an international orientation they have a global agenda and their global agenda is linked to the political problems in the middle east and perhaps their grievances against their own countries uh, governments in their own countries they are not the products of poverty and illiteracy that is to be noted and another thing that i would like to bring out that al qaeda now has become a symbol a brand name any action around the world terrorist action around the world draws claims to be al qaeda but that doesn't mean that they are getting instructions from a central command of osama bin laden in the mountains of pakistan so it is a brand name it is a symbol now the action against them because they are foreigners 
they have no right to be in pakistan in the mountains of pakistan or in afghanistan the only recourse is force and they have to be el eliminated by force talking of taliban as i said mainly taliban are in afghanistan they are the people who ruled afghanistan for 6 years but as i said there are taliban in the tribal agencies the seven tribal agencies of pakistan but they have links between them taliban have a narrow outlook they have localized agenda they want to control afghanistan because they had control 90% for 6 years they have been under the influence of al qaeda al qaeda supported them financially in the past and even now maybe they give them financial support and technical know how they certainly are the products of poverty and ignorance illiteracy another point i would like to make about taliban is that in pakistan they are not a monolith there, there a number of times i was asked question that why can't a strong army of we have about 500000 strong army why cannot it go be concentrated and destroy the taliban i would like to highlight that taliban is not a monolith it doesn't have a one command with a defense line which you can attack and overrun people taliban as i said are in afghanistan and the mullah umar in pakistan in our tribal agencies the southernmost is south waziristan agency the leader there baitullah masood who's been killed called himself taliban also there is another mullah nazir he calls himself taliban also they have no link whatsoever you may have read about swat the operation in swat there are two religious leaders there both of them separately call themselves taliban so therefore taliban is not one entity as such it is spread out independent of each other you're quite incorrigible isn't it anyway <laughs>